Alright, what's up YouTube? In the past, a lot of you have been asking how did I get my cool ass desktop. Obviously this ain't it. I mean, I just installed a whole new Windows on there, so I got a brand new slate. I figured why not this be the best time to go ahead and show y'all how to pimp out your Windows 7 desktop. Right now, as you can see, I got the plain boring bullshit, nothing fancy or anything like that. Uh, but the very, 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 very first thing you're going to need to do is get WinRAR. There, oh, my bad, I didn't mean to open that. The very, very, very first thing, like I said, is WinRAR. The 32-bit, and then there's the 64-bit. Basically, I have the links in the description. That's what I'd go by for you, so you can go straight to it. And if for some reason it don't work, hit me up in a message. But basically, the link in the description will take you directly to this page right here. And all you have to do is click on this green thing. Nothing else. And it'll instantly start downloading for you. Once it's downloading, all you got to do is go to your Windows key, Documents, Downloads, and there it is, Win WinRAR 64-bit. And just open it. Yes, install, install, and you're done. That's the very first important thing. Okay, before I get started, so you don't get confused by the 64-bit and the 32-bit, in order to understand which one you need, you got to go to the Windows key, Computer, right-click, and Properties. And it'll bring you to this. It'll say it'll tell you your system type right here. System type 64-bit. And the difference between 64-bit and 32-bit is 64 bits use more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. Say I have 16, way more than 4. 32-bit is less than 4. That's all it is. That's all the bit thing does. Nothing else. You also can get to this screen by hitting the Windows and pause break key. If if you just don't feel like doing all the other shit and you're lazy, you can do that too. All right. That's basically it. The reason you need to download WinRAR is because 95% of the shit we're going to be using involves WinRAR. And keynote, um, keep in mind, I'm not going to tell you this in the video, but when you extract this, there will be a document that explains this. It's very important. Just remember I said this. Right click and hit extract to Rocket Doc. That's all you have to do. Don't open it like this or any of that other shit. And it, also, like I said, key. If you do open it, this is what the text file explains. Hit this red X. That's all I got to say. You get a 40-day trial with it, and you have to pay for the year version, or lifetime, or whatever the hell it is. I don't know how it works. But basically, all you got to do is extract, and then you got this folder right here. And in this folder, I'm going to include everything that you're possibly going to need to pimp out your shit. Now, the main thing that 50% of y'all ask for, I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way. My background that I use, the sexy little red Windows theme thing right here. Very pimp very pimp. Alright, after that, if you don't like that, it's whatever, I don't care. Just a lot of y'all ask, that's the reason, most main reason why I'm posting this, because I get a lot of requests for it. You want to install the little, I guess Mac computers use it, I don't know, I hate Macs, but it's like a little dock thing right here, and it gets rid of all this clutter on your desktop, you can say, so it's called Rocket Dock. All you have to do is install it, that's it, hit English version, next, I accept, next, yes, I would create a desktop icon just for right now. You don't have to keep it and install. That's all you have to do for this part and hit finish. Okay. When you open it up, like I said, you can delete it. And if you didn't do the icon thing, don't worry. It'll be over here somewhere. Whatever. You can come right here and type in Rocket Dock on the little search thing right here. And it'll come up. But basically, this is what you got right here. I don't know why it already came with all my icons on it. Kind of pisses me off. But I'm not redoing this video. It will come with all these ugly ass icons on it. And basically all you got to do is drag them, drop them off like I'm doing right here. And take all your icons that you want to put on there, like this, and drag and drop them all on there. Just like I did right there. And I'm going to delete all these icons. Now, it will have like this gay little hover effect. I don't know why mine did it. Because I guess I already had it pre-installed or whatever. But in order to get rid of all that, you're going to go into settings. And I'm about to explain all that too. Right click on an icon, any icon but the recycle bin, it won't work. Go to dock settings. Put screen position, you can do top, bottom, left, right. I keep mine on bottom because it's where I want it. And if you do do it, it's going to be like down here when you first start it. This is just, all it is is edge offset, just bring it up a little bit. And this one moves it center back and forth. Like if you want to pimp it out or give your little custom on thing, that's cool. But that's basically... The, uh, what, what the hell, that was basically the position. Okay, now you want to get into the style. You can select your theme right here. It comes with the gay ass themes. I'm going to show you how to install those in a second. But basically all those are gay. It's nothing 
special about it. You can edit your words, like when you highlight them, they have like little words on it. You can do all that, but nothing great about that. Position. Okay, this is the very most important. You know how I said it's like top, bottom, center? I forgot this. Make sure it says always on bottom. If you have it always on top, notice how it's on top of this notepad text. That's kind of queer to me. If you're into that, then if it rocks your world, roll with it. But it don't rock my world, so I'm going to put it on bottom. Okay, always on bottom. And behavior, that's another thing. I put none because if you don't, it'll have like a little bounce to it. Let me show you. When you click on it. I put none on that, and what's the other one? Um, position style, arrow mount. Uh, all right, then it'll come on like this hovering effect or some shit, like bubble, for instance. Yeah, I, I don't like that, but if that's what you're into, you can roll with it. I just like my stuff being still. But basically, that's all you gotta do so far. This is all the people who enter my contest that I wrote down so far. You, you know your name, you know. Shout out in the video. Okay. Now we're going to get into the themes. So let's go back to this folder. We got the rocket dock down and we got the backgrounds down. This is the little, the file thing I told you to read that's very important about Renoir for you noobs. If you already know your, your way around Renoir, don't even fucking worry about it. Okay. Themes for a rocket dock. Okay. I got one extracted right here, but it's kind of gay. I'm not even going to go there. But this is basically includes the website that you can download more rocket dock themes from all you gotta go to and download it if you can't figure it out from there then just give up right now on this don't even fuck with it that's all I got to say but basically this is the one I like to use it's the cool it goes along with my background image I just right click and hit extract and it'll bring it into a folder right here cause I, I just felt like I should like include some of these and when you download these things some of them come with backgrounds like this you see what I'm saying like if you like these better, roll with these. But like I said, I found my own image that I like better. But basically what you want to do is you want to get the folder that has this shit in it. This one right here. I'm going to right click, hit cut. I don't need any of that other stuff. You go to your Windows key. I'm at your Windows, Computer, Local SSD, Program 86. And you scroll down until you find Rocket Dock. And you'll see something called Skins. Click there. C come over here and paste it anywhere in here. And now it's in there. What this does is you basically, like I said, you can install your own themes. You come back up here, right click, go to dock settings, and go style. And we're going to look for my theme. It was like Mac 2010. And hit OK. You see how it's got the red, little red Mac thing on it? That just looks pimp and shit to me. That's the best one I like. That's basically all you have to do is you got to download the both of the Windows and this little packet thing. Like I said, I got some pre themes already in there for you. My background image. And some information about Renoir and the actual Rocket Doc program. In my other videos, I'm gonna be posting on this. I'm gonna show you how to edit the actual thing right here to make this like all red and shit, make this transparent like it is now, but like tighter tones and shit, like more pimp. Show you how to change the Windows key, the starting logo for when you turn your computer on. I'm even gonna show you some tricks how to make your computer say some shit when you turn your computer on. I'm gonna go. I'm even gonna go that far. I'm pretty much going to show you how to pimp out your computer, show you how to change your icons. Like, I like to use a red custom icon to make, like, my folders red, my recycle bin red, and shit like that. Basically, pimp out my icons on everything. And also, I'll, I'll get into more information about Rocket Dock in my next video. Like, I'll have an icon video explaining everything about that, but that's basically everything right there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. But right now, this is the basic of the basic on editing your windows. And just pimping it out and getting rid of all that clutter. Give me a thumbs up. It really means a lot to all my subscribers who give me a thumbs up on every one of my videos. You guys are amazing. You're, you're the main reason I make videos. You're awesome support, guys. And I love you people who send me messages saying thank you. You guys are as, just as good as anybody else. I love every one of y'all. And that's basically all I have for this video. Peace out, YouTube.